Hey, everybody. I was chatting to uh, Dee. Dee's started with us last week. And um, I said to her, I want to start up the YouTube channels again and start interviewing people. And um, I said, well, let's let's start with you. Dee's got a long history in the art community, in the art field. Uh, 23 years, Dee? Yeah, I'll give or take. Um, I'll give my age away if I tell you how long. <laughs> <laughs> So Dee, um, Dee's been working at a very popular uh, art store for a very long time, managing the store and everything like that. And um, it's a long process about actually how Dee and I are sitting here together. And uh, that's actually started back in 2017. That's when I, I started messing around and, and playing around designing the, the first uh, official canvas for the artists. And um, back in 2017, I, I didn't know where to go or, or, or who to speak to about an, an artist canvas. So I thought I have bumped into Dee a few times um, uh, during the store where we obviously went for kids art stuff and, and things like that. So I thought, well, let me go try over there and the knock on a door first door that you know. So what happened is uh, I put four of my canvases in the car and I went off to this uh, art store. And uh, D was there. I asked for her. I said, "Who's the manager?" They said D. So I went and spoke to D, and I said, "Hi, D. Uh, I've got a canvas." And uh, D was quite nice about it. And she says, "Well, uh, what what is the canvas for? What do you use it for?" And um, I, I said, "I don't know. I, I didn't even know there was a different canvas for different purposes. Uh, I was a bit naive in that sense." So D took the canvas and uh, she held it up to the light. She says, oh, it looks nice. It feels strong. Uh, but but what is it for? And I said, I have no idea. I said, I have four canvases over here. And um, passed them around and, and, and let's test them. So she took them. And uh, for the next couple of weeks, I uh, non-chantedly made myself uh, av available in the store, just poking my nose around. First week, nothing. Second week, nothing. Third week, nothing. The fourth week, I... Uh, as I walked into the store, uh, Dee was busy at the tills and um, she looked at me uh, and she said, she said, come, come. And she gave me the canvas. There was this canvas and it it was split into different channels um, and to different layers. And um, I looked at it and it had nice colors. And I said to Dee, so, so, so what is the answer? She says, it works with everything. It works beautifully. And um, that's kind of where I started the path to where we are today as far as the canvas goes. So yeah, thank thank you for that, Dee. You've actually been part of it from the beginning and, and your inputs helped Art Canvas Factory. It's a pleasure. I'm glad it's grown to what it is. Yeah, well, it's, it's been a long path, so. <laughs> um, Dee, so t tell me about uh, your background in the art. Um, are you actual artist or um, how, how do you go about gaining your knowledge on all the art? Um, well, let's put it this way. I'm a wannabe artist. Uh, when I was much younger, and I think I was going to high school, uh, I went to audition at the, it was then called the Art Ballet Music School. So it's the National School of the Arts these days. I was going to audition for ballet there. And when I saw the standard of art, it just put me off. And I thought, oh no, I'll never be an artist. So I've always been passionate about the arts and I love to learn about the materials and things. So I think I'm an expert in the art materials and materials technical field uh, so yeah that's pretty much it's out of passion that I learned what I have uh, learned so in your spare uh, if you have spare time are you actually uh, doing art um well I have painted some stuff I'm a bit embarrassed to show it so yeah, I don't really sell it uh so I do paint I do lots of crafts uh yeah so I dabble in stuff and um, the mediums that you prefer I prefer oil I've done watercolor, I've done acrylic. For me, I find acrylic just drives too fast for my style of painting. So I okay. prefer to use oil. So you know a lot of artists and people in the art world? Well, I, I think I know a lot. I don't know if I know, um, you know, tons. <laughs> so. no, but, I'm, uh, you know, obviously we, we know something's happened uh, to uh, the store that you were working at. And um, on social media, a lot of people are, a bit left out in the dry and they they actually don't know where to go um, and a lot of people have actually been mentioning you in that you've always been able to help them in that so i think there's a big piece missing out of a lot of the uh, the, the art world's uh, artists lives now and it's kind of sad uh, about what's happened but yeah the things must continue you know 
Yeah, we certainly will get in touch with them um, so that they can buy our canvases if they're not buying from us already. Yes, well, we need everybody to buy our canvas. <laughs> Um, and, about... and that they should, because the quality is fantastic. I mean, it's brilliant canvas. So. Well, that, that was part of my first story. Uh, part of the story is that, you know, you, you've been there from day one. You've, you've literally been there from day one, al although not together, but you, you have been part of the process. I mean, we've seen each other through the entire past several years in different shows. We still spoke to each other uh, and, and stuff like this. So you've seen the progress of Art Canvas Factory over the, since 2017. What I want to ask you is that you, you deal with a lot of different manufacturers in Canvas. What is what is your general feeling about uh, Canvas? Well, look, there are um, products that come from overseas and uh, we all know that quality is not so great. Um, you know, I think the wood that they use, uh, maybe because the climate is different and I think uh, the wood dries out and then it tends to twist Mm -hmm. So you get the twisting of the canvases. Some of them are really badly prepared. I mean, on some of those brands that we were talking about, you get them where they're not absolutely square. I mean, they, you put them on the floor and they're like buckled or they're not square, they're like twisted. So, And uh, the problem is, if you put that on a wall, I went into, I think it was a doctor's room or something one day, yes. and he had this canvas hanging on the wall and it was like all buckled and bent. And I thought, oh dear, I hope that's not one of mine that I used to sell. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you talk like that, you, you walk into someone's house or, or like you say, a doctor's reception, and um, the, you, you don't even notice the art. The first thing you see is this wobbly thing on a wall. It's like a picture hanging skew, but now you've just got one of the the corners hanging out, and it it, it distracts of everything that um, the client or the owner of the art is trying to 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 get across with their message. But I mean, you know, it's it's unfair on the artist that artists are, are spending so much time and effort putting together art and. Everything goes out the window because... Well, if you asked me what the art was like or what what was on the canvas, I couldn't tell you. Because all I could see was that buckled canvas on the Exactly, wall. exactly. Events, art events, expos, do you attend them? Do you, in your personal capacity and your past professional capacity... Uh, and and what are the events like? Um, look, I have been to them, but the thing is, uh, working full-time, you know, you if you want to go to a gallery, for example, they open during office hours. So when I was at work, I didn't really have much time to get to those things. But uh, if it's out of working hours and I can get to it, then, yeah, I used to attend to them. I used to also do workshops and things like that around the country. Attending or, yeah. or hosting them? Oh, no, well, I, I, well, for example, in Natal, I, I took a combi with a trailer with stock. Yes. Loaded it up and I went off to like that. So we used to get a lot of international um, artists coming out to do workshops and demos. Okay. So, for example, with the Calligraphy uh, Society, it was a or watercolor society, one of those societies. We went down to Natal and we like um, did a workshop at a school there. So, of course, I had all the materials there to sell the materials. And I never took part in the workshops, but I was there to see what the artists uh, were teaching and things like that. So those are always very interesting. St. Peter's, we've always uh, taken part in their uh, pavement art competition. They have a pavement art, they've got a graffiti competition. So yeah. it's always quite nice to get involved in those sort of things. Alex Trapani, you know, they wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to help him with anything there because he does sculpture. So yes, yes, unless yes. he can glue his sculpture to a canvas, yeah, um, we're not going to be able to help him <laughs> that way. But he is an artist and he does teach art. So there is spin-off on that, but yeah, very interesting. And for example, yesterday I was watching on YouTube, there was an exhibition in Madrid, fantastic art art exhibition, contemporary art, some weird stuff, mm. but uh, that went on for about two hours. I thought to myself, this uh, hall must be massive, um, so lots of artists there, so I thought of maybe getting hold of them via Facebook. So we've been chatting about uh, a bit about your past and uh, your dealings with Canvas that you've been uh, um, I'm selling. Happy with. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, well. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> selling over the last couple of years and everything like this obviously every company has things that they're working on in the background and that 
And um, uh, obviously this week we've let you in on the back end of, of some of the stuff that we that we are busy with, um, as you're obviously working now uh, for Art Canvas Factory. And uh, without giving away too much information, the, the things that you've been seeing and learning, um, what, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I think your guys uh, really take pride in what they do and they really try and get it 100% perfect. And like I said, the quality is good. Those outer oak frames with the canvases, that's really high end. I mean, those are really like, I don't think there's anything else like, out mm -hmm. there. Um, it's brilliant. And mm -hmm. even the way your mechanism for hanging it up is also brilliant. Never <laughs> idea of that. Thinking out the box. So um, the outer oak frames are actually a quite a big hit here in the UK as well. So our next shipment is going to have a, a lot of larger size uh, panel canvas. So our box board canvas in South Africa, our box board frame in South Africa, and locally over here, they call them panel canvases. So we're going to be doing a lot more of those uh, on the larger ends as well. I'm super stoked to have you on board. Since 2017, we've always been past each other in that. And the opportunities now come for uh, for you to be able to join up with us. And I, I'm, I'm really stoked about it. Um, I definitely think you and I are going to be able to to do some awesome projects and, and, and spearhead some amazing things. I think so. And yeah, so we should be able to come up with lots of new ideas with uh, what we can do with the canvases. Mm. So. Yeah, for sure, for sure. 